The First Lady of Sierra Leone, Mrs. Sia Nyama Kuruma, has vividly manifested a motherly and leadership role in Sierra Leone, for which she is commonly referred to as Mother of the Nation, in short, Mama. Her educational background groomed her both as an organic chemist and a trained practicing psychiatric nurse. Her timely experience and training received from her family have in diverse ways prepared her to serve Sierra Leone well in her capacity as First Lady. In an effort to effectively respond to the realities of the nation, she developed two program frameworks under the Danke Kuruma Foundation. My office has developed the Women's Initiative for Safer Health, WISH program, designed to improve women's sexual, reproductive and child health practices. This initiative provides women with unique leadership roles and eradicates cultural and traditional myths, beliefs and taboos which have plagued our society for so long. In her capacity as First Lady, she has been an avid campaigner of women and children, working for the enhancement of a fair and equitable society where the most vulnerable groups are allowed access to public services. She has presented herself abroad as a worthy advocate for the poor and defenseless in Sierra Leone, effectively using the profile of her office, the office of the First Lady, to tailor-made solutions that address issues affecting the country. The establishment of the office of the First Lady, which is a novelty in Sierra Leone, is meant primarily to promote the welfare of women and children and to provide facilities for the sexual and reproductive health of women, gender empowerment and promotion of the girl-child education. While in complementing the President's vision, Mrs. Sia Nyama Kuruma reasoned that for people to gainfully benefit from the country's endowed natural resources, there is an imperative need to renew the concept of attitudinal change in relation to intergenerational dynamics, bringing back family, societal and cultural values to education. The government has also established the Attitudinal and Behavioral Change Secretariat. To complement this effort, my effort is engaged in the printing of manuals, textbooks, and teachers' guide on attitudinal change and good citizenry, which will be incorporated into the school's curriculum next year. It was against this backdrop that the Flaxis project was developed. My office, therefore, has established an educational project called First Ladies Attitudinal Change in Schools, FLAXIS, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology. This project has awarded scholarships to deserving girls, in particular in primary, secondary and tertiary institutions. <laughs>